sometimes successful people just make me so mad. Fred Moore here with BeyondGoodEnough.com. Another tip on how to go beyond pretty good. No, beyond good enough in your business and in your life. My background is in entertainment. To comedy, I do magic, as well as the speaking that I do now. And there was a time in my life where things weren't going so good. The, the, the bookings weren't coming in, the gigs weren't coming in like I really hoped that they would. I was working, but I wasn't getting the work for some reason. A friend of mine called me up and said, hey, there's a uh, comedy magician gonna be at this comedy club. Why don't you come and join me? I called up, he got his comp tickets, like, let's go see him. I'm like, all right, sounds good, let's go. You know, I always like to see a good comedy magician. Well, I go there, and this guy is just not good. Not good at all. He had his props just laying on stage. It was just, there was just kind of, he seemed to just throw it together. He's there on stage. He's at a comedy club. He's working. He's getting paid, and he's doing a horrible, horrible show. I got it mad. I was ticked off. Now, I'm a pretty calm guy normally. I usually don't get mad or angry. Matter of fact, my friend still teases me about that, about this today, because he's never seen me like that before. I, you know, afterwards they went, hey, great job after, you know, you did good, you know. No, I couldn't, I, I went out in the parking lot. I, I just, I need to get away. I need to get away. And he said, dude, what's wrong? I said, I'm not getting any work, and yet this guy is up there getting paid for doing that? I got angry. I got angry, and I started working even harder. I started working harder at the marketing, at, at my show structuring, at, at networking, at contacting, on my website, on, on everything, because I saw that somebody like him, who does, eh, all right, it was an okay show. It wasn't a horrible show, but it wasn't, wasn't the best show. You know, you know. I'm not saying I was better, I'm just saying. Somebody like that, who does a show like that, but can market it, and can put it out there, and can, and can work, and yet here I am, not being able to do anything. Well, I used him for inspiration. Granted, at the time, I, was, I didn't look at it that way. I didn't look at it as inspiration. I looked at it as, I'm so mad, I hate you. But I used it. I used that, that negative aspect of it. And it, it pushed me. It pushed me. There are people out there that are, quote, idiots that are making it. They're successful. Don't be jealous. Don't be spiteful. Don't be mean about it, just look at them and go, all right, look, look at those idiots. They can do it. If they can do it with what they've got, then it should be easy for me. All I need to do is put a little more effort into it, put a little more work into it. Maybe you are good at what you do, but you're not getting the work. You're not getting the income. So maybe you need to get good at the other aspects of business. The marketing, the networking, the social media. Maybe you need to find some other people. That's what I ended up doing. I was good at my show, but the other stuff, not so good at. So I got a team of people to help me become successful and get my goals. Use the idiots out there for inspiration and get your goals. If you're watching this video any place but my blog, do me a favor, head on over there right now. It's beyondgoodenough.com. While you're there, you can subscribe, you can click the like button while you're there and share it with your Facebook friends. Just don't send this video to that guy, okay? Because I'm kind of embarrassed about the whole thing. <laughs> Just, you don't know who he is. I know, that's fine. I'll see you next time.